Hi subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is Vivs from Slidenode here. In this video, I'm going to talk about static methods with the help of an example. We are going to talk about the following things. 1. When should we make a method static? How do you decide if something should be static or not? And 2. How do static methods interact with other methods? That is static, other static methods, other non-static variables and methods. So let's take a look at this. As usual, I'm using NetBeans over here and I have a simple class person which we, which we talked about in the previous video. By the way, if you guys haven't seen my previous video where I talked about static methods and the concept behind them, please go back and check those videos out in my playlist Object Oriented Java or please check the links in the description text below. So here at the class person, what I need to do is add one more attribute to represent a person's age. Now I could simply say int age over here just like this. but usually you don't do this because age changes every second right so rather what people do is they store the date month year at the time when the person was born and then calculate the age based on that so I could simply say something like this in day and month and year and we could store this of course people use something else called the date class for doing such things but for now to keep things simple I will stick with this now this is one of the ways you can store the date of birth and then what we can have is a method saying public void get name. So at this point I have my method calculate age. This is gonna work on day, month, year, right? And this day, month and year is going to be different from for every different object of the class person. For example person p1, comma p2. p1 will have a different day, month, year than p2, right? Now this is the normal scenario we don't need any static methods in this case now let's take a little different approach for doing the same thing I could remove these three variables and I could simply have the calculate age take those three variables by saying int day int month int age this can also be done now in this case if you guys notice there is something strange over here if you see take a look at the get name method here it is working with this name which is nothing but this instance variable name over here right same way with the get address method that's also working with an instance variable return address but if you see the calculate age method inside this I'm not gonna write the code for calculating the age because that involves the following steps so just to show you or give you a rough idea of how you calculate age this is these are the following steps you first find the current date or current time and then you convert that into days, months and years like today at the time of making this video it's probably 27 December 2013 and you find the current time minus birth date now the birth date is supposed to say 1st Jan 1990 so you have to subtract both of these the current time minus the birth date and then you convert that difference which is in days into months and years now this is the step these are the steps that you need to perform to calculate the age now you will notice something that these steps don't depend on this variable name over here they don't depend on this variable address over here they neither depend on the get name method nor on the get address method in other words this method calculate age has nothing to do with the class persons instance variables and instance methods that you have here but if you keep it just like this without modifying it what is going to happen is there's going to be calculate age that's going to be different for every single object so in this scenario what we can do is we can make this method static so that means that there is going to be a single copy of the calculate age method for all the objects of class person in other words you're trying to make things better by making this static because this method does not work with any instance variable or instance method you can make this static However, like we did earlier, if I go here and if I say int day and int month and int age and then if I try to calculate age after removing these three attributes from here and instead of that keeping over here, then in this case you are going to work with these three variables which belong to your class person. They are normal variables, right? Hence, it's best that you make this normal method. You don't make it static. In other words, make a method static only if it doesn't have any interaction with the normal variables and normal methods that you have inside your class 
So this is the rule that I follow. Of course, you guys are still finding it a bit weird and hard. I know that because as a beginner, I always wondered when you should make something static or not. But this truly comes with practice and it's like a sixth sense and it strikes you saying, oh, you should make this static. And that moment will come in your life if you keep practicing this the way you do not right now. So now that I've talked about how to make something, how to decide when to make something static or not, let me talk about how static methods interact with other static and non-static methods that we have. So at this point, I have modified my code to have a class test. It has a normal variable, int normal variable, and a static variable, static int static variable. Now remember, the data type doesn't matter. Static behaves the same way with all the data types that you have, string, int, double, whatever. Now there's my normal method here, which is public void normal method. And as you guys can see, there's public static void static method, which looks pretty much like this public static void main, right? So now let's take a look at what can be accessed. Now if I want to give some values, I can go here and I can say normal variable is 1, static variable is 5 maybe. If I go to my normal method, let me just try to print that out by saying system.out.println. I'll simply say normal variable over here. So a normal method can access a normal variable. No problem with that. Let's go down, try to print the static variable here. I'm going to simply remove this and I'm going to say static variable over here. Again, no problem with that either. I can also call my static method over here by simply saying static method. No problems with this either. So this is what you can do with a normal method. Now let me go here, run this and show you that. So I create an object of the class test and I simply say t dot normal method. If I just run this by saying shift f6, there you go. There's one which is our normal variable, five which is our static variable and static method has been called but nothing has been printed because I have not written anything. I can of course go here and I can write system.out.print and hi something like that. It will work so don't worry about it. So now that we have seen how a normal method works, let's take a look at a static method over here. Now let me remove these statements from here and let me go ahead and simply paste them inside my static method. As you guys notice right after I say this, right after I paste this, you will see that there is an error here which says non-static variable, normal variable cannot be referenced from a static context. Again, if you go to this method, it will say the same thing. What this essentially means is that normal variable and normal method exist in the world of objects, which means they work only with objects. In other words, if you want them here, you would need an object to access them. In other words, go here, create an object of your class by saying test t is new test, something like that. And now you can directly say t dot normal variable and t dot normal method. So let me again go inside the normal method, just put a print ln. So as you guys notice, this works perfectly. And why is this so? Because static method and static variables don't work with objects. They are kept separately. They exist in the world where there are no objects, like I said. So in the world where there are no objects, if you want to access something like normal variable that works only with objects, you will need that particular object on which that variable or method can be called. So at this point, if you run this by saying shift F6, as you guys notice, it says inside normal method. Now let me remove this t.normal method and let me say test.static method. Now notice one thing, I can also call t.static method. There is no problem with that, but you are supposed to call test.static method always. If you go here, and if you see the warning, it says accessing static method, static uh, method that we have over here. In other words, you're trying to call a static method on an object, which is not an error, but it can be considered a mistake by NetBeans saying that, well, you should call it only with the class name dot static method name that we have here. So now at this point, if I run this by saying shift F6, as you guys notice, there's my normal variable one, which belongs to the object T of class test and then there's my static variable which can be directly accessed without any problems then there's my normal method which belongs to again the class t in other words this normal method is gonna work on the object t and it's gonna display this message which says inside the normal method so this is how static methods and non-static methods and variables interact with each other remember static can call static no problems static cannot directly call non-static in the on the other hand non-static can call static directly so this is a little tricky and you will get used to this again with practice like i said 
So I hope you guys have understood something about when you should make a method static and what kind of interaction exists between static and non-static methods and variables. If you like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.